but absolutely perfect day catching a bunch of these walleyes on some of these flowage systems right there <laughs> on the jerk bait we'll take it that is absolutely perfect right there see you later girl there she goes <laughs> what is going on guys today we are back with another video and it feels good we're up here in northern wisconsin and it is opening weekend i've had my dad in my boat yesterday I had mitch in the boat a little bit today and I'm catching a bunch of fish and want to take you guys along for the ride and it has been a fun kind of day and a half now it wouldn't be a good opener if all you did was just go to some crazy place and catch a bunch of giant walleyes i like to spend opener up in the northwoods targeting a bunch of these natural kind of flowage type of systems right and northern wisconsin's loaded with these kind of lakes so a lot of these lakes are like a dammed up river system pretty shallow a lot of wood a lot of junk in the water a lot of just debris floating stuff weeds all that kind of stuff going on and these it's kind of like you know it just brings me back to being a kid again being out on a lot of these systems so i'm going to take you guys along with me it's not going to be the biggest walleye video but we're going to do some old school shallow water flowage and reservoir pitching and hope to dial in on a whole pile of walleyes this afternoon it's already actually i should say evening it's already 6 30 in the in the evening so <laughs> we're going to bring you guys along and absolutely clock a pile of these fish right there fish on boys you know normally we'd start this off casting up right at the bank but i just got in here and see some off the edge feeling all right feeling all right oh yeah look at that guy nice little 15 and a half to get things going we'll give you the old boat flip buddy and that is 100 percent oh <laughs> in front of the new boat's a little taller than the old uh the previous boat there we go Walleye number one, pitching at some fish on the side imaging. 15 incher, and that is what everybody's out here for. Fishing for up here in Northern Wisconsin on opening weekend. Unfortunately for them, they're tasty little guys. We're just letting them all go today, but uh, we'll take it, my man. We'll take it, let's let that guy go. And we hope to catch a pile more along with some larger fish. Hopefully kind of a two-prong thing where we get to cast a little crankbait around, we get to pitch some jigs up shallow. We'll see what happens, but there's number one. Right there. Right behind the old boat. We rolling? We're all live. Little guy. Eh, he's probably about the same size as that first one. About a 15er. We'll flip them on in. There we go. This is what it's all about, man. There's something special, no matter how many big walleyes I've caught, about coming up here in the Northwoods and just pitching a bunch of these shallow, kind of stained flowage systems. Little guy right there, he's probably about 14 inches long. We'll get bigger ones than that, but it's blast. And it's kind of this unique style of fishing, especially these little flowage areas where it's a lot of rocks, a lot of timber, a lot of sunken bogs, weeds, channels, all this different kind of structure. So it's this very like interactive style of fishing where you're constantly looking at the graph for something. And right now we're just pitching a little jigging a minnow in there, but we, I think we could probably switch it up here in a little bit and try something else as well. It just feels something about pitching around a jigging a minnow on opening weekend just kind of feels right though. right there feeling nice feeling nice man we'll take that we'll take that <laughs> oh man in shallow water these things just love to go and let me look at the shoreline this is kind of what you get out here pretty scenic deal very few houses on a lot of these systems but there is plenty of these to catch a lot of these you know perfect eater size walleyes thumping that little jig there we go, man. Look how pretty and perky those little guys are. It feels right. There's something about this style of fishing that feels like 
it's supposed to be done on opening day <laughs> and we'll take them right there and, you know location wise obviously we're fishing pretty tight to shore but we filmed just a mountain of app content fishing this exact same pattern we actually came out here before opening season and we drove around we found a lot of these fish kind of where they're sitting where they're setting up and broke the type of structure down um, for all the walleye now users so if that's something you guys are interested in coming out to these flow system catching an absolute pile of fish jump on the walleye now app click let's go fishing at the bottom of the page click spring and then the flowage or reservoir system and it's right under situational tips there'll be some good videos there on presentation there'll be some good videos there on location really breaking stuff down nicely for anybody wanting to duplicate this same type of fishing Right there, fish on, out of the front. You guys don't, don't get to see this too much. Yeah, another all right one. I mean, man, we are just on an absolute mountain of these like 15, 16, 17s in here. We're way high here. We'll go for the flip. <laughs> there we go, but they're all pretty healthy fish really. But uh, a lot of cookie cutters, but that is kind of the deal, man. We'll get you popped off. There we go. Look at those guys. <laughs> Perfect and perky and healthy walleyes. Up here in the super shallow stuff. I'll let you go, buddy. And they're scarf of jigs. We'll take it, man. Even get my minnow back on that one. And right now we're hunting around with some forward-facing sonar. And it's not always as important to see the fish as it is to make sure your bait is going where you want it to go. You know, we're so shallow right now, I got this thing in landscape mode. But mainly what we're looking for is this little gravel edge. And making sure that we know exactly how far away we are, how far we have to put our bait to get in it, and all that kind of good stuff. super shallow I mean like on the bank man I fired that one as far as I could <laughs> and he was up in there on it let's go ahead and flip you buddy there we go another about 15 incher right there <laughs> that is not a super fun way to fish I mean I'm throwing at the shoreline trying to land it basically on the shoreline and then just jig it a little ways back to the boat there we go oh he's feisty let's get you back buddy that is a fun way to fish right there. And it's a super simple style of fishing, obviously. And I would assume by the end of the evening we'll get some bigger fish, but I mean, you guys can kind of see it there. I'm literally pitching like onto the bank, as far up in there as I can get it, and just jigging it back real slow. Obviously you want to go with a real light jig head for doing this. The boat is in seven feet right now. And obviously those fish are in pretty much one, two, three, four feet of water, it seems like. Well, let's do a little running around, see if we can't uh, find some fish on a different spot. That was spot number one. Obviously a pile of fish there. Objective complete, but we're gonna go find some more fish, hopefully. And maybe a big fish by the end of the day. You can always pop like a 24, 25 at any moment. So let's do a little running around, see what we can find, and uh, hopefully get back to setting the hook a whole bunch of times. All right, spot number two here. Another shoreline related spot. We'll get them encoded down. Beautiful like little storm cloud coming. Temperatures dropping. Things feel fishy for sure. All right guys, all we're using, super simple, jig minnow. Eighth ounce jig minnow. Tied onto a 7.3 Elliott rods medium light fast you can almost hear the thunder in that cloud way far away from us so that's kind of the rod 7.3 medium light fast eighth ounce jig in a minnow this particular one's the kaelin's pendu jig i really like this one for live bait 
Um, it's got a little bit smaller hook shank on it, super nice. And it has the undulating hook on there, which is nice for fishing live bait. I'll go ahead and link it down below. But that is a setup, super light for fishing, super shallow. Right there. Fish, no. oh. Yo, we need audio. <laughs> well, this thunderstorm is getting pretty ominous over that side of the boat. Nice fish right here. He's barely skin hooked. So where's my net at? You know what? We're just going to chance it and flip him. <laughs> this thunderstorm is looking pretty ominous right in front of us here. But we're catching him. Eighth ounce pendu right in the top lip right there man he actually wasn't coming off look at that and it is fun like i keep saying i know these aren't the biggest ones they're just kind of cookie cutter 14 to 17s but man it is just there's not a more fitting way to spend a northern wisconsin opener than on one of these flowages just catching a pile of these things and my phone says 10 percent chance of thunderstorm seems a little bit higher than that if you ask me if you just look out in this direction here i can hear the thunder for about half an hour now so luckily there's many bays on this body of water that i can kind of like cup into if things start getting real it's been a steady stream of boats going back to the landing for about the last half hour now but hopefully we can catch a few more fish feeling pretty nice that's feeling pretty nice <laughs> I mean we're sitting in literally four feet of water here man I don't know how it gets any better I don't know how it gets any better than that right there look at that just perfect eater size walleyes flip you on in buddy there we go <laughs> this is a perfect evening on the water big storm coming in even though it says it still claims it's not gonna storm at all Look at how they're eating that jig right there. If you want to come out and put a pile of fish in the boat on these flowage systems right now, eight ounce jig, <laughs> eight ounce pendu jig, and uh, jig and minnow, and you can catch a pile of these things. You could probably get a few on plastics, especially if it was a little bit windier. I'd feel a lot more confident. But man, that right there, good as it gets for a day on the water right there. We'll catch plenty of bigger ones in the coming days and weeks, but this is always a fun little bite to get out here on some of these real shallow systems. Pitch around and just catch fish like this really all day long. This storm is looking honestly pretty gnarly, but it's really slow moving from the west and I got about 10 more miles of lake that way I can fish. So we might just put the boat on plane, fly across the lake, and maybe we'll switch it up and do some crankbait fishing on some super shallow stuff, which is always a super fun bite. So, well, there is still a fish right there at the deep side, but you know, we'll catch fish on the next spot as well. So let's fire up the Yami, which very impressive motor as far as how snappy a thing goes. For all you boat nerds and stuff out there, I'm just gonna walk and talk here. The boat with the 175 Yamaha will do about 50 miles an hour, which is plenty fast for a tiller guy. And with that storm cloud coming, rain is not your best friend when you're going 50 miles an hour in a tiller. You really got to cover the face up, but we're going to blast off because we'll beat the rain to where we're going and uh, hopefully catch some more fish once we get there. You know, one thing that makes a lot of these flowage systems different than a lot of your just big natural lakes is just the structure diversity. I mean, it is insane out on a lot of these systems. You might have 
you might be sitting on a spot like this where on top is sand, then you get some rocks and stumps in two, three feet, then you might have weeds starting in four to seven feet, then you might have a river channel or cribs just off the edge of it. So there's a ton of structure in these lakes. And a lot of times they fish very like intimately where it's like, oh man, all the fish are literally on the inside sand in one and two feet of water. Or like, oh man, all the fish are literally glued to anywhere there's stumps outside of a weed edge. These fish are very much like structure relating fish. They don't get on a lot of these big sand flats like they do on the natural lakes quite as much. You're fishing a lot more of these like dialed in small pieces of structure. And a lot of times that's where two kind of structural edges coming together. The other thing you see is a lot of times these fish are very willing to go super shallow like they are now. And a lot of these fish for a lot of the season will spend a lot of their time in 10 feet and less. So these flow just definitely fish different than a lot of your natural lakes. And it's just kind of being aware of, you know, kind of what's going on. And a lot of using your electronics say, okay, this is gravel, we're catching fish here. Or okay, this is an inside weed edge. That's where those fish are. And a lot of times this time of year, they're almost too shallow to even see on electronics. But a lot of times it's paying attention to kind of, you know, what depth those fish are coming to when you're making a cast and all those kind of things that ultimately catch more fish on a lot of these flow systems. They're super cool areas to fish, um, but there's a lot of structure going on in them. Right there, <laughs> on the jerk bait. We got Audi, okay, we're rolling. Well, just switched out, put a husky jerk on, which anytime you're fishing a lot of the shallow stuff in the spring can be a good option. And man, just take a look around for a second, how beautiful it is. There's a rainbow over here. The sun's going down. We got the lake to ourselves, And look at this, we're catching nice walleyes on the husky jerk right there. We're gonna go ahead and grab him real quick. Chill out, buddy. Chill out. There we go. Look at that. He just came up and absolutely kissed it. Just popped into it when there was a little bit of weight. Gotta be adding the paws on these things in the spring because that's when they all bite. Most time on these stick baits. He's playing nice for me right now, but I feel he's about to just jump around. <laughs> Look at that, man. I don't know if there's a better way to end the day than that right there. Perfect looking walleyes. An absolute pile of them. My auto for my minnows keeps turning on here, but absolutely perfect day catching a bunch of these walleyes on some of these flowage systems. Can't beat it, man. That'd be another perfect eater if you wanted to keep one, but we'll let them go. Right next to a beautiful sunset right here. I mean, look at this. If this isn't just a perfect Wisconsin opener, I don't know what is. See you later, girl. There she goes. <laughs> Oh, tough to beat, man. Tough to beat. I think we might even just end it right there because I've been fishing for a long time and I should probably go home and eat something today. But appreciate you guys watching this video. Wanted to take you guys along for just kind of a, an old school day of fishing. So when I was younger, probably 10, 12, 14 years old, a lot of our openers would be spent like up on these style lakes. And man, you looked forward to this weekend for months and months and months. Doesn't quite hit the same now that I travel around everywhere and go some, you know, the, some of the best walleye fisheries or things like that. But there's still something special about coming back to a lot of these northern style lakes like this, even if the fish aren't that big. Just putting a bunch of walleyes in the boat, fishing super shallow. So, hopefully you guys kind of enjoyed this. This is kind of a nostalgic, nost nostalgic little video for me to make, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. We'll definitely be catching more walleyes. We'll definitely be catching some bigger walleyes in the future. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you're not yet, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you next time.